It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some more Has Been Hotel today. It's called The Show Must Go On. It is the last song from season one, episode eight. And I waited to do this reaction because I didn't want to spoil anything. I've been doing reactions to the episodes over on my anime reaction channel called Dwayne Does Anime. There is a link down below in the description. So anybody that's interested to see my reaction and what I talk about as I watched each of the episodes, you can check it out right over there. I do have to obviously cut it up a little bit and you know, make sure that I can get it uploaded to YouTube, but it's a good time. I, I really enjoyed the show. I thought it was dope and I'm, I'm excited to see what happens in the next season. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to spoil it for anybody that maybe hasn't finished it yet, but they're watching song reactions or you know what I'm saying? But over there, we talk about a lot of things during the episodes. After the episodes, I elaborate. I give my predictions on what could happen next, what I think should happen different kind of stuff like that. So if you guys want to have that conversation with me, just jump over to the Dwayne Does Anime channel and you guys should be able to find them pretty easily. The seven or six, seven and eight are not out yet. I, I don't know when this is going to drop, but this upcoming week that ends with Friday the 22nd, that will be the week that I drop the, uh, the last three episodes. So you'll see them on Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday. I don't know off the top of my head what those days are. Let me just look really quick. Maybe I could just tell you guys really fast. So on the 19th, the 21st, and the 23rd are when the 6th, 7th, and 8th episodes are going to drop. But I've watched up until that right now. So if you guys want, over there is where I have all those. Anyways, I'm I'm, I'm chatting at this point. The show must go on. Let's dive in and uh, let's see what they're doing with this one. Oh, they're there. It's, oh, it's okay. Serpentious. He did it for us. The ultimate sacrifice. He gave me his trust. You know what's crazy is that man, like, again, spoilers, so just be careful. I, I feel like I can't, I can't react to this without giving some, but I assume if you're at this point, you've watched the whole show. But this man, like, built it up. Like, I'm like, oh, he's going to do some shit to Adam. It's about to go down, and Adam just goes, boop. And then that, boop, he's gone. It, that shit was crazy to me. It was such a like anticlimactic moment. And look how we paid the price. This bloodshed could have been avoided if I convinced heaven to work together. I took a hotel and I destroyed it. I know I could have done better, better instead of letting you down. Come on, little lady, why the frown? the last 10,000 years you're the first one to change this town you can do this now I know it for your story has just begun you can't quit now hell you owe it there's still damage to be undone you've changed my mind You've touched their hearts, found the good and souls gone bad. The stage is wrecked, the crowd is gone, but by God, Charlie, the show, it must go on. We can do this, Let's we go. can build it, best hotel that you've ever seen. Cross the bedrooms, we can fill it, with more sinners than you can dream. It starts with you, you know it's true, fulfill your destiny. Yo, I, yo, Nifty is different. She is, she is, you got to give her her props. I, I, I killed the way that it ended. And she just like, stab, 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 stab. Yo, that shit bodied me. I didn't see that coming, but that was probably one of my favorite parts of that last episode. The way that this ended was amazing, but it also has me so interested for the next season. We're in hell. Check out this little magic with a remedial creation from me. Across the marquee with a little sorcery. After the battle, masterless cattle, overlords hanging by a thread. With a bit of bravado, maybe tomorrow we'll be atop the heap. What? Those, 
I don't like them. And I think that's probably shared by quite a lot of people. But it's like, yo, y'all sat back and tried to watch on TV like, oh, they're all going to get slaughtered. Oh, we can't wait to watch this. And then they did the footwork for you. And now you're like, oh, maybe we'll be able to move up in rank. It's like, you guys are some bitches. Like, let's be real. Like, what? Get the... Mm, I don't like these guys. Like, I didn't like them already, but it made me like them even less that they celebrated something that they were too bitch made to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get angry over here. Don't don't be playing with Charlie and playing with, you know... Alistair, I don't trust that man one bit. I don't trust that man one bit. The fact that he made a deal with Charlie, I think that's going to be a horrible decision going forward, and at some point, it's going to play out in a very bad way. And I don't know his his whole reasoning for getting close to Charlie yet, but it, it sounds like... It sounds like he's, there's something going on that we're just unaware of because he's made a deal with somebody himself. And he said something about if he can clip his wings. And so I don't know that that means he's, it's, he related that to heaven when he said that. But there, there's something happening behind the scenes that we're very unaware of. And it threw me off because Adam didn't know who he looked like. But I thought maybe he would. But then maybe he looks very different. Like, I don't know. There's, I, I haven't been able to grasp yet exactly what I think is going to happen with him. But I, I just I don't know. Some, something something fishy is up either that or he's just using this deal to try to get close to to charlie because he knows that at some point charlie is going to take over hell from her father or believes that she will and he wants to be her right hand man because that kind of puts him in charge as well i don't know but maybe it's maybe it's got something to do with lilith um you know because there was a period where he disappeared and that definitely plays into where he made a deal and, and he hasn't talked about why he disappeared. He kind of downplays it. Like, there's there's some hidden shit going on. The battle, masterless cattle, overlords hanging by a thread. With a bit of bravado, maybe tomorrow we'll be atop the heap. Well, the rest of hell's pissing. Alistair's missing. Fled with his tail between his legs. Nature abhors a power vacuum. It leaves room for you and me. The future of hell belongs to the Vs. <laughs> See, even more, I don't like them. Alistair ran with his tail between his legs. I'm Listen, I don't trust Alistair again, but at least that man stood up and fought. You guys sat back and watched like some little bitches. I can't, mm, I don't like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this them. This place reeks of death. There's a chill in the air. And I barely escaped being killed by a hare. Great Alistair Altruist died for his friends. Sorry to disappoint, that is not where this ends. I'm hungry for freedom like never before. The constraints of my deal surely have a back door. See, the constraints of my deal surely have a back door. He's hungry for freedom more than ever before. Once I figure out how to unclip my wings. Oh, that's what it was, how to unclip my wings. For some reason, I took it as clip my wings. And I want to say in the episode reaction, that's how I presented it. But I just knew that I, I, I knew there was something to this. And I feel like this is a big part of it. And it just makes me wonder if at some point he was also from heaven for some reason but i don't but I, he can't be though right because people said that he was a serial killer or some shit in real life so i don't know if that's just a metaphor of like you know unclip my wings like the freedom again like if i can fully be who i want to be without this deal that's kind of locking me in right now that might be more so what he means than actual wings but only one way to find out we gotta get to that next season guess who will be pulling all the strings That was dope. That was dope. I've I'm I've been enjoying this show so much. So I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna try to drop this before the last three episodes I reacted to come out. But then I'm also thinking I should do it afterwards because I'm kind of giving my thoughts on the last episode already. And then it hasn't put came out on my other chance. So I, I don't I don't know how I should approach it yet. So there's a chance that in the beginning of this, I told you guys that they come out on these certain days this week, and then this drops afterwards, and none of that really matters anymore. So I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know when I'm going to drop it, but we'll, we'll see. Either way, let me know what you guys thought about all this, the show, all of that. Uh, is there a 
I, I know there's a season two coming, but I just don't know if there is a timeline for it. Being that this 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 season just came out, I feel like it's going to be at least a year. Usually there's a year between seasons, but if there was less, I wouldn't be mad at it. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so anyways, I appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.